people have always been unaware of new environments because they're afraid of them. Uh, the, from the moment of birth, uh, people are sense that the environment, the new environment around them is hostile. It's, it's a real threat to their whole existence. And so every time an environment changes, we hasten to seek security and comfort in the old environment. The future of the future is the present. And this is something that people are terrified of. Wow, Marshall McLuhan, he's kind of scary. So what does it take to be an educational technology leader? Well, I think he points out to one key skill, and that is courage because you're going to face fears. Whether it's your own fear, because you're gonna try out something new that's never been tried before, or you're trying to keep up with technology and you know that you're never gonna be the expert, or when you face fears in others, because you're asking them to try things that they've never tried out before. To go along with that, I think you also need understanding, patience, and certainly perseverance to keep, keep going and keep trying new things one step at a time. are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Integrating technology into the classroom, into the curriculum, or even into one lesson can often feel like you are boldly going where no one else has gone before. So there's three things I'd like you to consider. One is, ask the students what they're doing with technology. I guarantee you, they are doing some amazing things that you cannot even imagine. But they probably don't understand all the learning that's going on, and you can find ways to incorporate that into your classroom. The second thing to consider is, will integrating this technology transform my lesson? If you're not connecting globally, empowering student voices, unleashing their creativity, then consider whether the technology is uh, right for that lesson. And the third thing is, Will the technology help students be creators or consumers of content? I think it's very important that technology be used for creation. And I'd go so far as to say, we need to do more with creating technology tools to help with more creations. Technology, making better, better. Onwards, upwards, any way but backwards. Tapping progress on the shoulder and saying, Isn't it nice when things just work? The final lesson I wanted to leave you with is that with technology, failure is always an option. And of course, that's because technology is created by humans and used by humans, and we know how to make mistakes. And I just want to encourage you to not let that distract you. Um, sometimes those mistakes can work out beautifully, sometimes they won't. Uh, but I think going in knowing that's going to happen is a healthy attitude to have. Also, I would caution when you hear about an educational technology product that sounds too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs>